Well, there's, I mean, for example, there's Cartier Bresson's photograph of the guy jumping over the puddle. And um, people, you know, this is called the ultimate decisive moment photograph. And it seems like magic the way Brisson put the architecture, the design, the perspective, the angle, all of these things together and made the photograph work so successfully and had the guy jumping over the puddle and he just found this moment. The truth of the matter is, is that this um, location was on the way to Brisson's studio. So he passed this location every day. So every day he had a perspective on it and he could see the point, the angle and the position that would make the best photograph. And finally one day, the puddle is there, the reflection is there, all his angle, nothing has moved, the staircase hasn't moved, the landscape hasn't moved, it's all the same. And then there's this man jumping over the puddle. Voila! He just takes it at that decisive moment and captures it. But it's something he had seen in his mind's eye for, I don't know how long, but for years perhaps before he actually took the photograph. So one can intuitively uh, think about things without ever executing them. And then the time comes and everything comes together and it's great synergy when it all, when it moves into place. Now some people would look at that photograph and say, well, it's a guy jumping over a puddle. What's the big deal? And the truth of the matter is that it's everything that defines a great photograph. The frame is very strong. The, the design is very strong. The focus is perfect. Your eye is led down the stairs right to the guy uh, jumping over the puddle. You get the sense of Paris, the way he's dressed with his little top hat. He might have an umbrella, I'm not sure. And uh, marks it in time. And there's great depth of field in it. So you lo you're located in Paris. You're located in time. You're located well within the frame. Everything is, is working together extremely perfectly.